Hello there, I'm Justin, and this is the first video in our new Stardew Valley gaming series. Today, we will cover 10 useful mods for Stardew Valley. We wanted to start the series off with some content near and dear to everyone's heart. Without further ado, let's dive in. The first mod on our list is the NPC Map Location mod. This mod allows you to see every character's location in real time on the mainland minimap. Hit M to open up the map and hover your cursor over a character's icon to see their name on the map. When it's someone's birthday, you will see a little birthday present icon on the map next to them which can make the gift giving process so much easier. Now let's head over to the next mod in our list. When you equip your fishing rod, the next mod, Fishing Info Overlays, pops up at the top left of your screen. It shows what percentage you have to catch a certain fish on that cast. It also shows you how much bait you have left, and how many casts are left on the equipped fishing tackle. While reeling in the fish, you can now see exactly what type of fish you have on the line, which can help to know how much of a fight the fish will put up. Wish you had another row of inventory after a trip to the mines? With the bigger backpack mod, you can purchase 12 more inventory slots from Pierce for 50,000 gold for a total of 48 maximum slots. This is a huge upgrade in space considering 36 slots doesn't feel like enough space, especially if you're a pack rat like myself. The next mod is one of our favorites on the list, the tractor mod. Head over to Robbins to build the tractor garage. It costs 150,000 gold, 20 iron bars, 5 iridium bars, and 5 battery packs. This may seem steep until you see the thing in action. Equip any tool to use its function, then drive over the area with the tractor to instantly do whatever you're trying to do. This makes all the manual chores completely effortless such as hoeing, watering, planting seeds, cutting wood, cutting grass, and mining stone. In the fifth spot is the Look Up Anything mod. This amazing mod gives you a menu that shows all of the important information on an item, character, recipe, plant, or animal. Hover over anything, then hit F1 to open up an information box. To actually look up something, you can also hit Shift F1 to open up a text box to search for specific items or characters. Grapes and hops can get a little annoying to interact with while trying to maximize productivity in your garden. This is why we recommend using the Walkthrough Trellis mod. This mod allows you the freedom to run down your rows, harvesting any trellis crop with pure reckless abandonment. Say goodbye to those pesky trellises getting in your way. Now we're getting into the territory of some mods we feel really increase the efficiency of the game. The Ladder Locator mod highlights exactly where a ladder or a hole is in any mine so you can climb down faster. This can come in handy when you are low on health being chased by enemies and need to make a quick getaway. Up next, UI Info Suite 2. This mod gives you a lot of in-game information. The first to remind you about specific events like birthdays, weather, and the luck of the day status with some simple icons at the top right of your screen. It also shows the radius that an item or a building will interact with such as sprinklers, junimo huts, or scarecrows. Relating to the animals, a small hand icon will be visible above your animals so you know if they've been pet that day or not. While hovering over artisan equipment or a plant, you will now see the length of time left in its life cycle. The price of an item or a stack of items is also shown when you hover over it with your cursor. The last thing it shows is an XP bar at the bottom left of your screen, as well as a notification when you gain XP or level up. This is one of the most useful mods on the list. The Skull Caverns are not only super treacherous, you also have to repeat each mining trip starting from Floor 1. The Skull Cavern Elevator can save you tons of time crafting or trading staircases to jump floors or use bombs to clear large areas, as well as help you gather resources much faster. Take your time knowing that, like clearing floors in the mines, clearing every 5 floors gives you an elevator access back to that level again when you go down a staircase or jump through a hole in the floor. Rounding out this list of 10 useful mods, we have the Automate mod. Automate can really help you remove the daily grind from the game, allowing you to focus on more of the fun aspects of the game like combat or building up your farm. 
It also has the potential to not only create auto farms, but auto systems that could be working while you're off doing other things. Set a chest next to any piece of artisan equipment or tree, then place the object you want it to process in the chest for it to start working. This will repeat until all the items in the chest are processed by the artisan equipment or harvested from a tree. You can also connect chests and equipment using designated paths that connect each active object. In this case, we are using wooden planks. Press U to pull up a grid that shows what systems are connected in green and those that aren't connected shown in red. Some objects like trees can still be connected if you run a path next to them. This is a great mod especially for your barn so you can auto collect resources and have them processed right away. That concludes our list of 10 useful mods. If you feel like we missed your favorite mod, feel free to drop a comment below and make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this.